so bad. And despite signs of a scourge, I can't see any sign of constant walking to Alright, well. Get out of here. Sit your bitch ass down. These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. I recognize this sack. It's my cousins. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? Okay. I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, this troop came from an outpost at the bridge alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge in some way be linked to this attack? That makes no sense. And these rocks were broken. As if they had taken cannon fire. What could have happened here? Mm -hmm. Very well. Let's sum things up. Constantine and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual. But they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he now has leverage to apply to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. We could return to Wen Xavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglandai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. I doubt that the Alliance would have decided to openly attack their ally. Don't forget that they owe their continued presence on the island to you. And thanks to you, I know. But their men were there, on the cliff. And Constantine is no longer among us. Maybe those men are still loyal to the preceding commander. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. Okay. Well, at least nobody got mad at us for the decision. Um, okay. Can we not get down there? Is that a statement that's true? Yeah, it does look like we're, we can't just hop down. So we'll actually have to run back around. So, let's see. I guess since we're here, you we might as well go there first and see what is going on, or at least what they can tell us, and then go from there. And like I said, we'll go do the uh mine and see what they've got to say really come on we don't need to fight these things Alright, I mean, we're dealing some fucking damage now, boys. Some real damage. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I mean, the amount of damage we're doing is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Is that a camp? Oh, <laughs> wow. I mean, at least we have a way to teleport out of here once we get, uh, everything done. 
And we can get back to Wenchehiv. Okay. Alright, before we go do that, let's see what these guys have to say for themselves about their involvement. Colonials? You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? De Sarde. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris. I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, sir? I'm looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me, I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Well, why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? I understand what you're feeling. The pain of seeing your men fall one after the other. The feeling of being abandoned by your leaders. The anger. But if you know anything, speak. My cousin is not one of them. I don't know what to tell you, Excellency. I haven't stepped a foot outside camp. I am convinced that you are hiding something from me, Captain. I will return. And my answers will not change. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Okay. So investigate the Alliance outpost. So... Guessing that means we need to go into certain places and see what we can find. up here nope nothing there 
What the hell is hiding in this fucking camp? For us to even be worried about running around in it. Let me go in here. No. Well, I failed to see what the fuck we need to be looking for. Oh. Journal of Captain Idris. Our situation here is becoming more and more precarious. Of the small squad I sent out to watch the heights, only one soldier returned, and he is in a state that unfortunately leaves us with little hope. I do not know exactly what happened back there, but I believe that he would do well to not get involved. We are in enough trouble as it is. I wonder how long we can survive this if we are not receiving any reinforcements or supplies, and we have been paid... And we haven't been paid in a long time. Okay, so... Um, I mean, there's something. Is it just still saying investigate? Yeah, it's just still saying investigate. I mean, what, we can't go in there or anything? We can go behind this place? Nothing? So what, is the guy hurt and in the infirmary now? Alright. But that's... And that can't be it, can it? I mean, that's just a little... Tiny... Tidbit of information. I mean, it's not even... Giving me any insight or anything. You gave me one little note. One little fucking footnote. I mean, what, can we now talk to the dude since we found the fucking note? Is that the case here? I don't fucking know, man. This is ridiculous. It's these kind of quests that drive me fucking crazy. Search the area when there's nothing to search, and then you find one little ass piece of information that doesn't lead to anything. Let me just try to talk to him again. Good day, Captain. Excellency. At your service. What might I do for you? Well, hopefully that. We know that one of your men survived. Okay, that it is. Why did you hide that from us? Why? Because you, the powers that be, the legates and the commanders, you don't give a damn about anyone but yourselves. My men die. And I must stand and watch without any means to help them. This boy that survived, and that you only see as a tool, will soon enough join the others. He did make it up to here, that's true. And then collapsed. Unconscious. And according to our nurse, he won't awaken. I'm sorry, Captain. Perhaps we can... See him? Go to the infirmary. And if you really want to make yourself useful, try and save him. Anything else? Okay. Concerning the young man that survived. Did you see the nurse? Not yet. Really? I thought that your cousin's life hung in the balance. Oh my. Anything else? I need to be going. I'm going, dude. I'm, I'm going. Fuck. To do this. Okay, well. Don't know why I didn't update when you found little thing, but whatever. What are you doing there? This is an infirmary. I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. I might get lucky and just have the damn thing. Oh no, we do have to go craft it. Alright, whatever.
And... Yep. Okay. Were you able to concoct the potion yep. against sperms? Yes, we were. Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Okay. So, wait for the soldier to recover is going to be our next thing. Which means... I guess we're running back to the camp. Because I'm not just going to sit here that entire time. And I don't think we can sit down. Oh, wait. Hold on. Isn't, isn't there a... Hold on. Options... Nope, that is definitely Valheim I'm thinking of. Although I guess going to the camp I can just wait the 24 hours there and then run back. So, that's true. So we waited the 24 hours for the soldier to get better. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? Indeed. The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days when we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the coin guard and an island they were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantine Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals that seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching me. Rebels, I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. Or you're just That's a bitch. Enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. Okay, so I guess now we go talk to the same guy that was trying to bullshit. save my soldier thank you you can't imagine what this means to us no I can't I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me did you learn what you needed to learn yes I guess I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw he and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate 
My cousin's escort were already nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good man, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. Next time, don't bullshit me. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. All right. Well, I guess now. So, what does that actually give us, quest-wise? Oh, well, that's uh, actually here. So, I guess we're going over there. Alright, well, we'll just do Constantine's Fate, and then we'll go handle some side quests. I think I want to try to get the side quests all finished. Or at least the ones we currently have. Before I go do any of the any more of the main quests, depending upon you know if we run into something and magically the main quest gets affected, and then you know it cancels one of our quests like we already had had happen to us. So let's uh go get Constantine back and go from there. Always gotta fight something. Alright. Keep going. Alright guys, so we made it to the village that we had to sneak into prior, and I don't think we've spent too much time with this guy, but uh, we'll see what he's got to say about what's going on. I'm not going to try to be a dick, but I'm just going to talk. Hello. Renegse, there you are again. What do you want? To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who is protecting him. Katisach, one of your greatest Donegada. No Donea Exregal would attack Katisach. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasach, and Avorst, dear, he died from his wounds. Oh, God. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea. But we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there. And many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. 
You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body, you will pay for this offense with your life. You know, it seems like this entire game, we like borderline being killed on everything we do. Alright. Let's go look at his body. Oh, wait, hold on. Where, 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 what, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Oh, we can go across. Cool. Okay. Oh, Catasac. Fuck. Sure, what we blame for this one? Seeing the state of his body. I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad. To have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. Afra would know how to get information from this body. I'll need to go and find her. Afra would know how to get information from this body. Fuck. I'll need to go and find her. Of course. So, not only do. I need to go get somebody that I haven't traveled with as a companion before. You know, we're already over here, and now we have to go leave and go get her. So, in that event, I will be back, guys, once we have her. And, yeah, continue from there. Alright, guys, so we got Afra back, or Afra into our group. Let's see what happens with the body. Here is the body of Katasach. Could you examine it and tell us what you make of his wounds? Of course. This won't be the first time I've examined a corpse. We note a great number of large blunt force contusions covering the entire surface of the victim's body. None of the wounds could be attributed to a blade or a spear, nor are there any visible bullet entry points. Practically every bone has been broken in multiple places. The rib cage was torn open and then collapsed. The open wound reveals multiple perforations of the vital organs. Here, the borders of the wounds have been singed. The flesh is blackened, exposed to a flame, no doubt. And we also note several patches of mineral residue. They seem oddly out of place in spite of the exotic insular origin of our deceased. I would be hard pressed to tell you which of the wounds proved to be the fatal blow, but one thing is certain. He was smashed violently by a giant rock that was without a doubt on fire. Yes. These wounds are similar to those given by a heated cannon shot, though in a less regular fashion. The dead soldiers we found had identical wounds. As crazy as this may sound, whoever is responsible for this attack is capable of wielding molten rock. In any other circumstance, huh. your conclusion would qualify you for an asylum. But <laughs> I stand on the side of the well. improbable. The native's powers reside outside the body of knowledge we possess. I can't imagine an Adaic behaving like this. It is not their way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really hmm. know who's actually behind this attack. Nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds. I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned? ...or angered by what happened to Katasa. We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives... ...your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same... ...there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. 
There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help, then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. Which will die. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death since that day. Our Tierna Hachadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Okay. Well, I guess that's kind of where that is. Now Mev has to actually be the one to help us, which, as we all know, she does not like us at all. So, I think... Well... I don't know. I, I definitely... At this current point in time, I feel like... I mean, that's a main quest. So... That's not something that's magically going to stop. Um, we might as well go do the Blood Prince. And Egan's face. To get them done. And that way we don't, we don't fucking fail them. Uh, let's see, what time is it? Alright, well... I'm at least going to get over there because I do have to go do some stuff today. <laughs> uh, compose your team. I don't even know anymore, dude. There's more fucking shit with people. Compose team. Okay. All right, guys. So we made it back to what is this place called? Kawenavar. And we will be exploring the rest of this region and getting the, um, uh, Tales of the Prince Blood or Prince Blood, whatever the quest is called, done in the next recording session because for this time it is done for now. Uh, so I will come back and catch you all in the next one where we will go to the abandoned mine, figure all that out, and then kind of finish this area off with looking around it and all that good stuff. And then from there we will uh, apparently do another quest for Sora that now she has another quest and Afra does have quest herself so we will do that when we come back and I will catch you all later so once again thanks for watching guys hope you all are enjoying and I'll see you next time